What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Max Grill Shack. My name is Shane, and today I am turning the Gosney Dome into a smoker. We're doing a skin on pork picnic roast using some peach wood. It's going to be delicious, so stick around. Just going to let this uh, charcoal light up preheat our, uh, our base on our stones well and uh, once we've got a nice coal bed formed we'll just uh, shovel it over to the wood burning side and keep an eye on our temps here and this is the pork picnic roast we're working with today it's about four and a half pounds skin on I think this will be uh, a fun little cut to try and experiment in our Gosney dome and see if we can't smoke I'm just going to set this in my pan like so there we go and i'm going to season uh pretty simply today one of my favorite rubs we got cosmos spg and i'm just going to give this a uh, a decent coating on all sides and remember you eat all sides so you season all sides And there we have it. Nice liberal coating of our Cosmos QSPG rub on our little pork uh, roast here. And I'm just going to let this set up while the dome preheats. And after an hour of our dome preheating, we are sitting just over 300 Fahrenheit. Right now 313 Fahrenheit. A little bit higher than I want to be for sure. Uh, I did kind of overshoot it just to get some more heat soak in the dome. I know it's going to settle down a little bit here. It's continuously uh, slowly dropping in. So we're just going to keep an eye on our temps there and add lump coal as we need to to maintain our temps. And I'm also going to be uh, throwing in little pieces of our peach smoking wood um, to add that uh, delicious smoky flavor to our pork roast. The probe is inserted and uh, this is the the skin side here so my plan for the most part is to have that directed towards the fire side just to help uh, keep that nice crispy skin we'll get this in the dome slide this into the very back corner here and plug our meat probe in All right, there we go. Our pork roast is in the dome. We got our smoking wood chunk. And I'm gonna set the door very loosely in the front here, um, just to help bounce a little bit of that heat back in there, especially once our wood chunk starts smoking. I do want that smoke to kind of stay in there. And uh, obviously it's gonna vent out the chimney, but uh, we're just gonna let this go here and we'll keep an eye on it. And I can already start to smell this peach wood smoke uh, coming out of our oven here. It's got a very distinct sweet smell. I'm a fan of it. But uh, so far, the smoking has started. Okay, and our uh, pork roast has been in the dome smoking away with our peach wood chunks for uh, nearly an hour and a half now. And um, I'm on my third piece of peach wood for smoking. I've only added one little piece of uh, lump charcoal to keep our temps up. Once this oven gets to temp and heat soaked, it holds it very well, especially with the rope door uh, on it here. But uh, after taking a look at it, we're starting to get some nice color on top on one side here. And I think what I'm going to do is pull this out and flip it over so our, our top exposed size is, is now down. Just so we uh, cook nice and even here. As you can see there, we are getting some nice color. 
The skin's even getting a little uh, crispy on that one side already. But I am just going to flip it over in the pan so that both of uh, the sides get exposed evenly. All right, there we go. And once again, I am going to put the skin side towards the, uh, the heat source here, our coal bed. I'm going to pop this back in here. I have, uh, I can't see any indication that we need to use any sort of a foil wrap right now. It's, uh, it's not cooking overly quickly, even though we are running a little bit hotter than uh, I'd like to be. We're closer to the 300 degree mark rather than that kind of 250, 275 I'm going for, but honestly it's cooking nice. So even at, at the higher uh, 275, 300, I think we'll be just fine. And we are right at the two hour mark here on our smoked pork roast. Sitting 280 in the dome, 134 internal Fahrenheit. As you can see, we are definitely getting some smoke out of this, getting some nice color on our skin side here. I did uh, add another wood chunk here and a couple pieces of lump coal just to sustain our temps. But so far, so good. And just over the four hour mark here on this cook, the dome oven sitting at 299 Fahrenheit. The pork roast is sitting at 161 internal. Getting some good smoke off of these peach chunks here. As you can see, we don't have much of a coal bed. Uh, the dome is very efficient at holding its heat. And we're getting some really nice color on our pork here. But we're just going to keep on cruising. Set the door back in place. And we have been running for about six and a half hours now here on our uh, pork roast. Uh, I did add a good size chunk of charcoal, kind of bumped up the temperature. We're getting close. Our internal temperature right now is hitting 187. Uh, shooting for that uh, pull apart temperature, nice and tender, somewhere in the, uh, the low 200s here. But uh, we have ramped up temperature a little bit. But uh, let's take a peek and see how we're doing. So I've got a little coal bed there still, but this oven holds that heat extremely well. And um, a little goes a long way. There we go. We're actually getting a little bit of uh, a blister on our skin here, which is nice. I like seeing that. I'm trying to go for uh, a little bit of that puffy, uh, crunchy skin, that chicharron, if you will while getting the nice and tender uh, meat on there. So I think we're doing pretty decent here. I'm just gonna actually set this uh, edge of the, the roast up on the side of the pan so that skin is fully exposed closest to the fire. And uh, I'm just gonna tuck this back in here, getting it slightly closer, not too close. Like I said, we still have about 10, 10, 15 degrees internal to go on this pork before we're, you know, fall apart tender. And uh, I don't want to overdo it too fast, but I'm uh, going to continue cooking this on here and uh, keeping an eye on it, trying to puff up that skin a little bit and finish cooking that meat. Okay, seven hours into this cook and we have hit 201 internal in our pork uh, roast here. So let's take a peek and see how we're looking. Definitely getting some beautiful color on our skin here. As you can see, our, uh, our skin is nice and crispy here. I think we could do maybe a little bit better, but we got some beautiful color on this. We're basically there, nice and tender. But I think just to finish it off here, I've got one last piece of our peach wood and I'm going to nestle that right on top of our coal bed and see if we can't get uh, some nice flame roll effect here just to finish it off, crisp up that skin just a little bit more. And just going to give this a double check here with our thermopen. 
feeling pretty good here. I think we're basically there. All right, I think it's uh, safe to say that our pork roast is done here. We definitely got some nice crispy skin on there. We're hitting 205 internal right now. Let's pull this out. I'm gonna remove my probe. There we go. And there you have it. We definitely got some good color on there. Nice and dark. Got our, uh, our skin there, definitely crispy. A little bit charry, but uh, I'm not gonna complain there. And what I'm gonna do here, just pull this back down into our pan where we got some excess juice here. And I'm just gonna let this rest for a little while and uh, let it come down in temperature a bit so that we can get our hands in on this and shred it. And we've given our pork picnic roast here uh, a quick rest under some foil. And it's time to dive on in, shred this up and give it a try. Definitely got some really nice color on here. Get this on the board. There you go. We certainly got a little bit dark on the on the skin here, but uh, believe me, it's crispy. No issues there. Let's flip this over. And there we go. We got that uh, bone out of there. Not the cleanest pull, but I think we can easily pull that away. There we go. And what I'd like to do here is try to kind of peel back this skin if I can here and save it. And I don't think that's going to be too hard to do. There we go. Little skin cap removed there. Going to set this off to the side. And uh, let's see how tender we are. I would say that was a success. Nice and tender. Definitely still a little on the hot side here. Nice and tender. Super juicy. Smells amazing. If you've never tried uh, peach wood for smoking and you can get your hands on some, I highly recommend it. I'm just going to run through, shred this up nice. Make sure we don't have any uh, hard pieces or bits in there like that one. We don't want to be eating any of those. So I'll just go through this and shred it up. And there it is, pulled pork out of the Gosney Dome. Smells so good. I can't wait to dive on in. But first, I want to mix up some of this crispy skin. <laughs> it's crispy. that crispy skin mixed in with that pulled pork gonna be delicious let's give a little one of these a try oh that's tasty and there we have it you guys we have pulled off some pulled pork in the gosnia dome low and slow we averaged somewhere around 275 tops 300 and uh, got some peach wood smoke flavor on there. I mean, just check it out. You can see right there, we got ourselves a very nice smoke ring. Super delicious, smells phenomenal. And uh, I can't wait to dive on it and give this a go. Cheers. Mm. Delicious. Nice and smoky, uh, nice and tender, nice and juicy, super flavorful. So good. I can't wait to put this pulled pork to use. Throw it on a bun with a little slaw. Maybe make a, a pulled pork pizza with some of the leftovers. Maybe some tacos. Who knows? That's a nice thing about uh, pulled pork like this. You can pretty well use it in uh, every way possible. But uh, I do thank you guys for sticking around for another video where we tried out a fun one here, a bit of a, a low and slow smoke in the Gosney Dome. 
but I think it turned out uh, really good. Um, I wouldn't change too much about how I did that. The door definitely comes in uh, super handy for a cook like this. And uh, if you want to hang around for more of these videos where we uh, test out some stuff in the dome, maybe we get the, the offset smoker fired up, we get the PK charcoal grill, the pellet grill, the flat top, you name it. Hit that subscribe button, stick around, see what we uh, get up to next week where we grill up some more goodness outside.